I go. Yeah. Feels good. good. It's such yeah. a so amazing. soft. It's, it's like soft. the oh softest God. shirt ever. Possible merch one day. We, got we can this. have like a whole table. The little pins for. Oh. I just spilled. Oh, God. Crystal Shawanda. Shawanda. Her first album, Dawn of a New Day. Her big hit was You Can Let Go, and it was a monster. You can let go now, Daddy. You can let go. It was yes. number one here in, on the Canadian Country Album Chart, number 16 on the Billboard Top Country Album Chart. She's got Church House Blues, Voodoo Woman, Fish Out of Water. The whole world's got the blues. She won a Juno in 2013 for Best Aboriginal Album. Yeah. She won the uh, Juno Award in 2021 for Blues Album of the Year. And her newest album is called Midnight Blues. Ladies and gentlemen, Crystal Shawanda. Because that is beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm on my parents' front porch on the Weequim Kong First Nations. Oh. <laughs> How did you get into music? I grew up in a family where everybody just loved music. I did my first performance at school when I was six years old. I said something funny in the song and everybody started laughing. I could actually feel their happiness. I just wanted to make people happy. That's why I wanted to be a singer. You had a little short series of living the dream. Crystal Zawanda! I have to move to Nashville because that's my whole world right there. And everything I want to be doing every minute of every day is right there. I haven't seen that in a long time. That actually got me choked up. There were so many wonderful people in my life who helped me when I was filming that. That just brought back a lot of memories. So why did you leave country for blues? Holding back when you're doing country and you could just let go when you're doing blues? Yeah, that was definitely it. You know, I grew up in a house where we listened to all styles of music. My oldest brother loved to listen to blues like Muddy Waters and B.B. King and Etta James. I want to sing like that. Behind closed doors, that's what I was doing. On stage, I was singing on Patsy, but at home, I was singing Etta. A lot of people kept saying, I think you would sound great singing blues music. Have you ever thought about it? I recorded an album called The Whole World's Got the Blues. Yeah. Coming to the blues was like being who I really am. You won the Juno uh, for Blues Album of the Year. The okay. Juno Award for Blues Album of the Year goes to <laughs> Crystal Shawanda. It was so funny. On one hand, I was bummed out that we couldn't be there in be person. There. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad it happened the way it did because that's an amazing memory with my daughter. The album that you're going to drop right now. The new album is called Midnight Blues. First single that we released, How Bad You Want It. Number, number one, one on the Sweetie. Indigenous Music Chart. <laughs> Congratulations to that. Thank you. Thanks so much. We actually wrote that just as we were starting to come out of the pandemic, hopeful and optimistic that things were going to go back to normal. The song really has those optimistic vibes. Be sure to catch me, baby. in the middle of your tour. We're kicking our fall tour up officially in the West Coast. We start in British Columbia. We'll be having an album release party in Toronto at the Revival Rooms. Crystal, thank you so, <laughs> so much. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. I appreciate it. a great time hanging out with you all. Together. Thanks, Thanks so guys. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you can eat her up. Well, and that voice. That voice, I was just gonna say, that so voice, much. man. I showed this to my mom and she goes, is that you and me? I said, no, Aww. mom. It's... Is it because of the glasses? The glasses, yeah. Don't forget to uh, share. Like. Comment. Subscribe, because that's my word.